Hello friends, welcome to my channel, nice to see you, let's get started. Baron left the room, regretting Dylan's condition. But Baron went out the door, but couldn't leave, and then returned to the room, took Dylan in his arms and put him on the bed. When Baron takes Dylan in her arms, she feels her temperature. He then goes downstairs and tells Cater that she needs to go to Dylan and help her. Hearing Baron's words, Azada asks what happened to Dylan. Baron informs Azada that Dylan has a fever. He then leaves, saying that he has a company meeting. After Baron arrives at the company, Baron's secretary informs him that he has a meeting. Baron says that he will invite his partner in the company to his office. Then Dirya enters the office. Baron is surprised to see Dirya and asks what she is doing here. Dirya informs Baron that she is a new partner and has come to see the work. Angry that Baron's partner is Dirya, he throws the documents in front of him and tells her to look at them. Dirya looks at the documents and asks Baron for help, not understanding anything. Baron leaves the office, telling Dirya that they don't have free time and that she understands if she wants to be a partner. On the other hand, Zumrat meets a guy named Ali due to an accident. Ali says he has run away from his life and has nowhere to go. Zumrat helps him and puts him in the attic of his family restaurant. Then in the palace, after Baron leaves, Azadeh goes to Dylan's room to torture her. When Azadeh entered Dylan's room, Cater changed Dylan out of his wet clothes. Azade insults Dylan with offensive words. She then told Cater to get Dylan out of the palace. When Cater is leading Dylan with Jewel, she runs into Jihan in the hallway. Seeing Dylan barely standing, Jihan asks what happened to her. Cater said her condition was bad. Jihan then asks where they are taking him. Cater says that Mrs. Azadeh told her to take her out. Cater leads Dylan to the gate. It was cold at that time and it was raining. Azadeh is waiting for them and she pulls on the blanket Dylan is covered in and pushes him hard. Dylan fell to the ground in a puddle. Azadeh then tells Dylan to go back to his house and never come back here. Azadeh then tells Cater and Joel not to tell Baron anything, and if he asks where Dylan is, say they haven't seen him. Dylan's clothes were soaked through and in poor condition. Dylan gathered all her strength and began to walk with difficulty. Dylan walks slowly with all his might and does not know where to go. Dylan thinks that if she returns home, his brother's life will be in danger. Not knowing what to do, Dylan crawled to the back of the mansion. Sevded is still thinking about what his client said about Dylan and is heartbroken. Seat is also concerned about Sevdet's discomfort. Sate remembers Dylan, then he has a heart attack. Sevdet and Jevri take Sate to the hospital. Dirya then returns from the company to the palace and is delighted to hear what happened to Dylan. Dirya tells Azada that she was a campaign partner and can now work with Baron. Dirya tells Azada that she is very happy. Azaid tells Dirya that he shares his joy for her. Meanwhile, Baron returns from work. When Baron came home, Azadeh, Dirya, and Jihan were sitting at the table. Baron saw that Dylan was not around and asked where Dylan was. Everyone sits quietly, then Dirya says that no one has seen her today. Baron went upstairs to his room, turned on the light and called Dylan's name. Baron returned downstairs, realizing that Dylan was not in his room. Again, Baron asks where Dylan is and why no one knows. Chihan wants to tell Baron what happened, but he stays silent because he is upset with his brother. Dirya again says that she may have run away again. Baron said Dylan was sick and couldn't walk Baron then interrogated Ghoul, and after she said she didn't know either, he went outside and interrogated the palace guards. The guards say no one left the palace. Then the Baron starts looking for the garden. Meanwhile, Dylan entered the palace's boiler room. Dylan then starts asking for help. She barely crawls through and leans against the cupboard in the boiler room. At this moment, Baron notices that the door of the boiler room is open and goes there. When he got there, Dylan was leaning against a chest of drawers, 
and the chandelier was about to fall on her. Baron runs over and lifts Dylan off the floor, and the chandelier falls to the floor where Dylan is lying. Baron was afraid that the chandelier would fall on Dylan's head, but, fortunately, he managed to prevent this. Baron then carries Dylan to his car and takes him to the hospital. So we have come to the end of this video. Friends, to see more videos, do not forget to subscribe, like, open notifications and leave your comments. Until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye.